One of the things I talk a great deal about with metal roofing is the importance of flashing things properly. Flashings are installed on a roof basically wherever there is a protrusion or obstruction or abutment to the roof plane. With standard shingles, contractors usually use sealants or cements to seal things up and hopefully keep the water out of your home. They can usually get by with sealants because there are sealants that last as long as the roof shingles themselves. With metal roofing though, we have concerns about the life expectancies of even the best sealants if they are left exposed to the weather. Therefore, we try to seal these areas using various flashings, usually metal, to direct the water away from the protrusion or obstruction on the roof. One common area requiring flashing on residential applications is where a lower roof plane runs against a wall. A good example of this is a home with a one-story garage that extends off from the two-story house. Where that garage roof extends away from the house is a typical area for a sidewall flashing. One thing that we have become increasingly aware of in recent years is that many residential wall coverings are not all that watertight. Artificial stone, various vinyl, metal or cement siding materials, stucco systems, even brick can let significant amounts of moisture through them, especially in wind-driven rain situations. The areas surrounding windows in a wall can also be very prone to water intrusion. Typically, some sort of house wrap or other material is behind the wall covering for the purpose of keeping that moisture out of the walls. However, when the house is re-roofed, if you're not careful, any water that runs down the house wrap can end up inside the wall or beneath the roof system. Ideally, we like wall flashings that involve removing the wall covering, making sure the house wrap is in good shape, and then installing the sidewall flashing not only behind the wall covering but also behind the house wrap. This ensures that any water that gets behind the wall covering stays where it belongs on the outside of your home. Of course, this is difficult to do with masonry walls, so a common solution there is to make a half inch deep saw cut into the brick or other masonry and insert the flashing into that saw cut. In that case, it's also wise to inspect the masonry to see if it needs to be sealed or tuck pointed so that water can't get through it. Of course, both of these methods, removing the wall covering or cutting a channel into it, require a great deal of labor and that all comes at a cost. We do see situations though involving wall coverings that can't be removed without significant damage or stone walls that are difficult to cut into. In those situations, the flashing has brought up the wall with an outward break at its top and the resulting channel is sealed with a high quality sealant. That sealant may need to be replaced after it weathers a number of years. The flashing also may need to be fastened to the wall in order to keep it securely held in place. While this is not the preferred method of sidewall flashing, sometimes it is the only option. If you're having a metal roof installed on your home and there are areas where the roof runs against your home's walls, be certain to talk to your contractor about how those areas will be handled and have the details specified in your contract with them.